Uh, we're talking about the Josiah Gathira Karuki Memorial Foundation launch that's going to be happening and it's coming very soon. Of course, in studio, of course, it's uh, Mike and Kathy. Uh, welcome to Capital FM again. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the activities. Let's not get emotive about this. Some of the activities that are coming up and you set us, uh, give us the dates. The, the mission uh, behind uh, this foundation is to create awareness mm-hmm. um, around um, mental health uh, right. uh, agenda in this country mm-hmm. and especially around young people and how it affects them because um, we ourselves as a family mm-hmm. um, having had the um, uh, misfortune of drinking from that cup oh, yeah. we, mm-hmm. we understand the pain mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we felt that um, if we can be able to to um, help mm-hmm. one more mm-hmm. young person out there mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, another family out there and mm-hmm. spare them the pain we've had to go through. Yes. We picked soccer because uh, Josiah loved soccer. He played oh, soccer from I the time, uh, age of I think, eight years. Um, he even, uh, you know, went out of the country several times. Oh, so he loved soccer. He yeah. thought in his memory, mm-hmm. uh, we can do that. It's a seven aside. Uh huh. So 10 people per team. Uh huh. We have under 19, uh-huh. under 18. Under 19. Yes. That should be hilarious. Keep going. Uh-huh. Uh, under 23, uh-huh. uh, under 16, and a girls team. Mm-hmm. A girls team? Yes. Nah, nice. So, so far, um, all the other teams uh, are fully booked, but we have under 19, we still have eight teams. Eight teams, wow. And mm-hmm. under 23, we still have eight teams to mm-hmm. fill up. Oh, fantastic. It's, yeah, so it's 10 players mm-hmm. per team. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's 10,000 per team uh-huh. to register. 10,000, that's good. But that mm-hmm. should not be, if you cannot afford it, mm-hmm. feel free. We'll get someone to sponsor you. And okay. You can participate in the, in the tournament. Yeah, hey, that's good. That's fine. Yes. Mike, from your angle? As the tournament, tournament will be happening, mm-hmm. uh, we will have counselors. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, within within the premises, mm-hmm. um, sitting there patiently waiting to engage with our young people. Yes, and we'll encourage players and spectators and even parents who who will be around on the day to 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 walk into those tents and engage with the counselors, you know, and 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 just feel free to 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 have conversation with them precisely. and get help and get help get and, help. and 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 we are hoping that you know we will start by creating you know rather giving that very. A safe environment mm-hmm. where you can go and confidently and in you know in your own privacy have that conversation mm-hmm. but we are hoping that in the end mm-hmm. people can engage in those conversations mm-hmm. <coughs> openly yes. uh, without having to to, to 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 feel shy about it mm-hmm. um, we, we hope that they will come and absolutely. we hope to come soon so that then we can we can um, help our young people absolutely and it's a worldwide phenomenon by the way it's, it, it's not only in Kenya or, or that other country. It's worldwide. It is worldwide. Yeah. yeah. And one worldwide. of the thi- one of the things somebody from Twitter is asking me, uh, Charles, can you ask uh, uh, Mike, why is it that parents, a lot of parents, shy away from talking about this, even to their own uh, close friends? Why do they shy from doing this? By the way, is it a community thing? People will see you as weak, or, or what? Mm, I, I think. Um it's down to to a lack of information, lack of knowledge, mm-hmm. because um, society tends to to look at mental illness as 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 a bad thing. It's like you should be in madare, you know, and and yet or, or, or the traditional know, thing: who did what in the past in your family? Pre- precisely, exactly. So, so, it's, it's, so it's so it's coming home to whatever thing of stigma yeah, exactly, around yeah. it. Yeah, um, and like it's not cool mm-hmm. to come out and say, you know, I'm depressed. Uh, mm-hmm. Or my son is depressed, like it's a sign Thank of weakness, you, exactly, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and a lot of misunderstanding. You know, you have young people. Uh, what we need to remember is that young people today are growing up in very different circumstances compared to you know a long time ago. The, yeah. Between social media, oh, uh, that one is pressure amongst the peers. Th- that one's huge. Really too huge. much exposure. They, they, there's yeah. just too much happening yeah. uh, around them. So you find teenagers acting up, and the parents will be like, "This is rebellion. This is teenage. Mm-hmm. This is this and the other." Mm-hmm. And yet, these are young people who are crying out for help. That's but true. for lack of knowledge, um, they are left with their own devices. What do they do? They take to drugs, uh, alcohol abuse, and another. You know, f- as indeed what we saw in the newspapers the other day, what was happening somewhere in Eastland, Precisely. where these young boys and girls were caught in the act doing whatever they're doing, and. I was shocked. I was like, why? Why? Why them? You know, why them? So this, uh, Mike, as you say, is part of the uh, the reason why we're having this foundation, so that the parents can come and talk about those issues that are actually what we're seeing in the newspapers. That's what we're talking about, actually. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. We, we, we want people to understand that it's okay not to be okay. That Thank you. Do you do not Thank have you. to allow your yeah. past 
define your future, mm-hmm. you know, um, and, and that giving up is not an option. Yep. Because yep. there are avenues now yep. for help. Yes. And all you need to do is step up, mm-hmm. come out, and, and you'll find help. And, and uh, August 25th available. and 26th. Yes. We want to start that conversation in a big way yes. and make it go viral. Absolutely fantastic. First couple of them will be on the ground. Yes. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll be talking about all these things. And, and uh, uh, Kathy, you were saying something about uh, um, about testimonials, about young people who will also yes. be there yes. talking we'll about have. what they have gone through. Yes. And yes, you can get ready to help. Yes, there'll be young people present who will mm-hmm. share their experiences. Mm-hmm. We have people from the age of 50, 35, 20. 50? Yes, to show oh them, dear. to show people that this thing has always been there. It does, it does. It didn't start now. It does, yeah. You know, yeah. so we want people to understand that you're not alone. Okay. You know, so we'll have people giving their testimonies. Mm-hmm. We'll have people sharing their experiences. Mm-hmm. And also even as caregivers, you know, as yeah. parents. Yeah. We also don't know. We have no information. We don't know where to start. Like Mike said, when you see your child acting out and, and behaving in a certain way, you all, all we do is condemn them and tell them, you know, you your work is just to smoke weed. And we have no idea that. How about if I flip it? <laughs> the kid can see the parent is stressed. Eh? <laughs> because maybe the kid is noticing it's yeah. the parent who's depressed, actually. Mm. So... The parent needs more counseling, more than the kid, but it will be good for the two of them to come together so they're both counseled. Then they can start, as Mike says, the conversation. Wow, fantastic. This is going to be great. It's going to be happening on the weekend of 25th and 26th, 26th of August. August. Uh, we'll name the grounds? Impala. Impala. Impala grounds. So you heard it from Mike and uh, Kathy. So make sure you come, all right? A mental health professional, by the way, can help you come up with plans for solving problems. Feel stronger in the face of challenges. Change behaviors that uh, hold you back. Look at ways of thinking how you feel. Heal pains from your past. Figure out your goals. Build self-esteem. Pick out one of those there. And if you're lacking there, uh, Mike and Shiko will be waiting for you Mm -hmm. at Impala on the 25th and 26th. This is Capital.